Who else remembers Cody Paul? This guy's Pop Warner highlights went viral back in the day with the help of YouTube and MySpace. And this was before going viral was even a thing. If you played football in the late 2000s, you definitely saw this guy's film. Hell, I even watched his highlights as a kid. I'm Riley one with Jukes, and I caught up with him to see whatever happened to Cody Paul, aka the White Reggie Bush. You gotta remember, this is like 2007 slash 2008. Social media wasn't like what it is today. So when Cody's brother posted this video for some relatives from out of state to see, he had no idea so many others would watch it. 11 million people in county to be precise. MySpace was like the social media at the time. He put it up and like within a day or two, it was somehow on like the, the hot videos. It was just wild. I, I have no idea how it happened. I don't know what, what sparked it to go viral. If you watched the video, you saw Cody making other middle schoolers look like they had spaghetti for legs. His Pop Warner team was pretty damn good. With Cody embarrassing defenses with his moves and scoring around 45 touchdowns that season, the Los Alamitos Pop Warner team went to the pinnacle of Pee Wee football, the Pop Warner Super Bowl. We had a very good offense. We had a very good team in general. We called it the red and the blue O-line at the time, and they were absolute units. I wasn't fighting for yards right at the line of scrimmage. I wasn't fighting for yards in the backfield. You know, I had room to work with, and it you know, it makes a fast kid with some moves uh, be able to do his thing when, when, when the line makes it easy like that. Not only is going to a Pop Warner Super Bowl a big deal, and not something many kids experience, but Cody was also an internet star at the same time. And with that fame came attention, both good and bad. There was those people that just dogged me, you know. They had my, my head on a target for sure. They just wanted to, they wanted to put the big hit on me. They wanted to shut me down. They wanted to be, wanted, they wanted me to have 10 yards against them. Needless to say, Cody Paul was well known by the time he got to high school and was looking to play at the next level. So well known, sometimes things even got a little weird especially when his high school played against Newport Harbor. This dude just stands up in the middle of the stand and says like, Cody Paul, I'm a huge fan. I'm from North Carolina. I came out to see you play. And I'm like, what the heck? In front of everybody, just randomly. In high school, Cody continued to make plays on offense. He had almost 1,900 yards rushing, 155 yards receiving, and 26 total TDs. And of course, the dude returned the ball and was just as electric with another 600 plus yards on kick and punt return. Although Cody was still a walking highlight reel and a very well-known football player, when recruiting time came, he didn't get quite as, as much attention as you'd think. Probably the most positive thing that came from this video was the opportunity to go play in college. But I'm extremely undersized. You know, a lot of colleges would overlook somebody like me. But it gave me the opportunity to go play in college. Got a great Division II school at Shadow State. Cody continued to do pretty well for himself, even though, as he says, he was a little undersized. In total, he had almost 1,000 yards rushing, 11 TDs, and then an astounding 1,800 yards returning the ball. At all levels, Cody Paul was insane to watch, man. And the success he saw on and off the field, a lot of that came from the video that his brother made when Cody was just 12 years old. You know, and it got me a degree. It got me to where I am today. You know, I met my wife in college. You know, I've, large parts of my life have, have snowballed from that, you know, and it goes past just football. It's been over a decade since that video came out. So what is Cody Paul up to now? Nowadays, after college football, I played uh, I played a year at, at a, a arena football in Bismarck for the Bismarck Bucks. Uh, it was a ton of fun. Uh, fun fact, I roomed with Sean Oakman there. It was a super awesome guy pursuing my teaching degree. I finish up here in just about a month uh, and I'll be teaching elementary education. I've been coaching uh, middle school football here in Shadron for the last four years and uh, going down the teaching and coaching path. Even though the video has led to a lot of positives in Cody's life, just like the rest of us, he knows not to read the YouTube comments because they are anything but positive. Probably one of the most common questions I get is, do you read your comments? Do you watch your own videos? And I say no, and people, I feel like people don't believe me for some reason, but no, man, I really don't. I, I read a couple comments back in the day, like of, of whatever, and people are just so mean and people are so rude on the internet. They'll talk, they'll say anything about people that they don't even know. I just worry about myself and stay down my own path. I'm not gonna lie. I was a little starstruck talking to Cody Paul. I mean, he's one of the internet 1.0 stars of yesterday, like Charlie Bit My Finger or Chocolate Rain. Despite all the noise that came with being a viral sensation, 
He's turned it into a positive and is using his fame to help teach and coach the next generation. If you have any dreams and goals in life to follow them, regardless of what you know life may seem, as long as you believe in yourself, that's enough. You know what I mean? If you have a path, if you have a goal, if you have a dream, follow it, pursue it. You'll get put where you need to be following your own path. Stay true to yourself and, uh, and work hard and you'll get to where you need to be. What are some other players who were absolute studs that you're not sure where or what they're up to now? Let me know in the comments below or hit me up on Twitter and Instagram. I'm Riley Wynn with Jukes. See you on the next one.